So one of the problems that we're facing in Texas and quite honestly nationwide is that we have removed a lot of the permeable spaces in nature like healthy grasslands. You know, tall grassland prairie systems have the ability to absorb and capture and infiltrate large amounts of water. And that's like a giant sponge. And that water is percolating down into the ground before it makes its way into the limestone karst feature and then popping out into, you know, cliff sides like this and making its way into water bodies. So this is the importance of you know, ecological restoration, of preserving habitat, preserving pollinator spaces, rotational grazing systems, where we are allowing grass to actually regenerate and have a greater diversity of grasslands as well. Um, and outside of grasslands, it's also important to have you know, dense woodland areas. They both have their place in, tech, in Central Texas. Um, and those woodlands are also gonna slow down water as the, the, the canopy is breaking up, dissipating the kinetic energy of the rainfall that's falling. And I mentioned as well, you know, juniper and other trees, including oak, you know, they're breaking through that limestone karst and allowing more water to get in to this, you know, spongy rock structure that then gets saturated and then it seeps out in these, you know, holes and seep springs and comes out of the side of these cliffs and then makes its way into, you know, the water bodies that we have here rather than just being 100% runoff. Um, so, you know, having a healthy intact ecosystem is important for the legacy of you know human continuity in these areas for us to be able to enjoy the beauty of water for our own sustenance for drinking for recreation and outside of what we can extract from it just for the benefit of all the other organisms that call this place home.